Hi, my name is You're watching the Door Media Network. We're in a town that's very progressive. We're grateful for that. We have a lot of entrepreneurial spirits in town here. Well, the one thing you get from Sioux Center that you don't see in larger cities is that small town support. If you bring a business to Sioux Center, everyone wants to know your name, what's your background, where are you from, what brought you here, why are you coming to Sioux Center? And they want to support you for that. People spend locally. They want to be loyal and they want to help out other loyal customers. It's a, it's a place that is for young professionals. We opened our practice about two and a half years ago. My wife and I moved here from South Dakota to be a part of the Sioux Center community and we've grown here since then. I love Sioux Center because of the connections you have here. People want to see you succeed. People are here to encourage you. It's always growing. I mean, it's a safe spot. Today's Dort Media Network live stream broadcast is brought to you by Cruise and Cruise PC, certified public accountants at 722-3375 with offices in Sioux Center and Lamar's, helping you attain your financial goals. It's their commitment. And sponsored by Orange City Area Health System with family medicine clinics in Hospers, Orange City and Paulina, and a walk-in clinic in Orange City. They offer the right care at the right place at the right time. Today's live stream broadcast is brought to you by American State Bank, proud supporter of Defender Athletics. American State Bank, member FDIC. Today's broadcast is sponsored by Northside Body Shop. When you expect the very best in the repair of your vehicle, call Northside Body Shop Limited today. 
serving the Sioux Center area since 1955. 712-722-2313. Hi, I'm Haynes Stevens. I'm from Des Moines, Iowa, and you're watching Dort Media Network. Hi, my name's Colin Price from Papillion, Nebraska, and you're watching the Dort Media Network. We're in a town that's very progressive. We're grateful for that. We have a lot of entrepreneurial spirits in town here. Well, the one thing you get from Sioux Center that you don't see in larger cities is that small town support. If you bring a business to Sioux Center, everyone wants to know your name, what's your background, where are you from, what brought you here, why are you coming to Sioux Center? And they want to support you for that. People spend locally. They want to be loyal and they want to help out other loyal customers. It's a, it's a place that is for young professionals. We opened our practice about two and a half years ago. My wife and I moved here from South Dakota to be a part of the Sioux Center community and we've grown here since then. I love Sioux Center because of the connections you have here. People want to see you succeed. People are here to encourage you. It's always growing. I mean, it's a safe spot. Good evening and welcome to Sioux Center, Iowa, where we have a matchup in hockey between the University of Nebraska Omaha Mavericks and the Dort Defenders. Dort Defenders making their home debut today. And here's the faceoff. Mavericks control. Defenders now take away and they're taking a chance. Shot on goal, saved by the keeper. Controlled in the back of the net, tries to look forward, lane in front, nothing there. And the puck's out of play. Face off in the Maverick end. Start. Mavericks get it out. Looks to be icing, and it will be. We'll have another face-off here in the Mavericks zone. Another face-off one there by the Mavericks. 
Now defenders control in the middle of the ice. Oh. Now the Mavericks look to control and they'll make their way into the zone. Pass Crow. the middle. Mavericks control the puck and the blue pass back to the blue line, shot on goal. Oh boy. And it's cleared out to the center. Line change here for the defenders. Oh, shot on goal, it's a goal. And that's 81 for the Mavericks. Ben Prelowitz of Kearney, Nebraska. Mavericks jump out to an early 1-0 lead with 18 and a half minutes left to play in the first period. Defenders control in, now making their way up the ice. Make it into the zone. Tried to get it into the middle, but nobody was there to hit that one home. Defenders got to get back on sides. Ooh, oh, dangerous pass in the, in the middle. It's Good save there by the keeper. The and it's cleared down. No icing, there's a touch on the point. Oh, icing. And we'll take it back to the Maverick end. Quick wraparound shot there by number two, Alex Espenson. Good save there by the keeper. And the puck is knocked out of the zone. Number nine taking it up into the defender territory. Big hit. Holy cow, what a hit by Espenson. Now defenders control. They make their way into the zone. Defenders control. And the pass back to the D-line is tipped off. And Lerman saves the breakaway. Pass gets sent back into the defender zone. Keeper comes out, pass the puck off to his fellow teammate. Door looks to make their way into the zone, finally get it in there. And gets taken away by the Mavericks, sent up forward. Defenders will send that back, regroup, see what they can get. Mavericks with a shot on goal, tip wide. Puck is loose in the center and it's out. Defenders skate it up to center and dump it in. Shot on goal there. Oh. Re deflection. Just wide. Stolen in the middle by the defenders. Oh, Good shot, pass across. Uh, well done by the keeper to get that one out. Had to use a stick on that one. Battle down low, puck squirts out in the slot. It's loose. Mavericks control. Pass up to the center, no icing, touch. Goalie comes out to play the puck. There we go, defenders regroup behind their goal line. Mavericks bringing the pressure. Oh, pass intercepted. And the puck is into the Mavericks zone. When the Mavericks lost their stick here, but they'll get it out of the zone. So we'll be able to go pick that one up. Shot on goal saved. Hayden Stevenson, freshman from Urbandale, Iowa, getting the start in net today. 
for the defenders. And Dort's on a great break here. Good defensive play. And the Mavericks regroup this time. Dort's bringing some pressure. Oh. Long shot on goal there. Yeah. Not much to it for the keeper there. Pass into the middle. And play is dead. Covered up by the tender. Defender's getting a lot of chances right now. Just can't seem to put one in the back of the net. Have a face off in the middle right now. It's all signed up. Dort dumps it into the corner. Battle down low. And Dort comes out with it. Shot on goal. Another shot on goal. Oh, and the net is off. That might be. Looked like a defender kind of took out the keeper there, but doesn't look like he'll be hit making his way to the box. Yeah. Mavericks win another faceoff there. Quick shot there for the oh. defenders. It was oh, out front. Could not put that one in the back. And now the Mavericks will control. Intercepted there by the defenders. Tried to take a quick shot there, but deflected the by the defender. Spot scores out to the defender. Shot on goal. Oh, it's loose. Back to the defender again. Another shot. Puck stays onside. Well it's done by the goal. defenders to keep that one on sides. And here come the Mavericks. Let's see if we can know. Oh, it's one on one. And it's puck squirts loose. Had a great opportunity there, but just lost the handles on that one. And that's Icing waved off here. Mavericks putting together another rush the right side and it's stopped by a dark defender and it's offside face off here in middle ice controlled by dark moving into the maverick zone Oh. Couldn't get the wraparound goal there. Get now the Mavericks will control. Buck is that out? Oh, stop. We got a two on two here. And the pass is missed. Just wide. Off the end of the skate. Big hit there. And oh, what a move. Espenson controls down low. Comes out, steps out front. Pass back to the D is saved by the tender. Kyle Wernley for the Mavericks, doing a great job and goal so far tonight. Defenders with 13 shots on goal. Mavericks with only two right now. No icing, no icing. We got a foot race here. And it's controlled by Dort down on the boards. Mavericks force the puck below the goal line. Pass back to the D. Shot on goal. Almost slipped through. Good pad save by the goalie. Good save. And the puck is dead.
That's Eli Vischer taking the face off for the defenders. And defenders put together a breakout, and it is no icing. Puck is down in the Maverick zone. Oh, the Controlled there in the corner for the defenders. Looks oh. to try to get it out to the middle. Oh, for the wraparound. Oh. Puck squirts out in the slot, and here come the Mavericks. Oh, puck is poked away from behind. Little hit there. No icing. Take away there in the middle. There come the Good moves. Defenders. We got a three on two right now. Oh. Just couldn't get the pass to the middle. He'll Lucky. send that one down along the boards. Oh, wide open shot. And good move by the defender there. Stop that. Another save there by the keeper. Average control and pass back to the defender D who sends it right back into the zone. And that'll be icing. Mavericks doing a good job so far of winning the faceoffs. Winning about 75% of the faceoffs right now. Control there, good moves in the middle. Right. And that'll be Penalty's a coming. penalty coming for the defenders. Go. 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 Number four, Kyle Espenson. Appears to be unassisted. Great job to keep that one in the zone and not call get the offsides called on the defenders there. Kyle Espenson makes his way through the middle, gets through a couple defenders and puts it in the back. We're all tied up. Halfway through this first period here in Sioux Center, Iowa. Defenders doing a great job putting a lot of shots, shots on net and limiting the Mavericks' chances right now. Going to the box with a hook. Hooking call. But should he be going to the box if they scored on that one? That that's doesn't a, make any sense uh, to me. That's a weird call. Yeah, that's interesting there. I'm not sure what's going on. Mavericks got a player in the box right now and Dort will be on a power play. Five on four for two minutes here. That's weird because they called the penalty before the goal was scored and then the defender scored, so. Usually that would negate the penalty, but. Yeah. Uh, okay. Door controls in the zone. Pass into the slot. And he did not get the shot away. And. Kept on sides there by the defenders. That's assistant captain Rylan Brew, who controls the puck at the blue line. That's off Jonah Weems. And the puck is just tipped out by the Mavericks. Brought into the zone by the defenders. Quick shot. Saved there, pad save. Pass back below the goal line. Defenders control. Mavericks are in a box. Trying to protect their goalie. And the shot comes from the right dot. And the rebound just squirts out of the zone. Dort will get a line change here. So will the Mavericks. And here 
Here come the defenders. Getting over the line. Drives right on the net and skates around. Pass back to the D. Oh. And Shot from on high. Right into the chest. Faceoff was won by the defenders. Pass back right to the D end. Pass right in the slot. Oh, the shot is just wide. Defenders control again. Right to the dot. Shot on goal. Saved by the goal. Yeah, I just couldn't get that backward shot to go in. Had just a great wide. look, but just sent it wide. So score will remain tied here with eight minutes left to play in the first period. Mavericks control here and the penalty will be over. Good penalty that kill there for the Mavericks. Defenders control the puck at the blue line and take it in. Put behind the net. There's a battle for it going on there. Oh, puck is loose. Picked up by the Mavericks, and they're going to take it out to center. Pass across to the dot. Tried the pass across the middle. Nobody picked it up, and the defenders are out to center. Big hit. On. Oh, battle for the puck there. We got a penalty coming. Another hook. On the Mavericks. Gord fans absolutely electric right now. Got a big crowd here in Sioux Center tonight. Stadium, I'd say, is at least 80 to 90% full right now, so good showing tonight by the Defender fans. Door will be on another penalty here. See what they can do this time. Had a few good chances just about three minutes ago when they were on the penalty, but unfortunately could not score one of those, so we'll see what they can do here. And taking the draw for the defenders. Dawson Camming of Kakabeka Falls, Ontario. He's been uh, taking most of the Dort's draws. And we'll have another one. Mavericks doing a great job of winning the faceoffs right now. Not really allowing Dort defenders to get those quick shot opportunities, but Dort finally win one. Quick and shot there, just sent wide of the goal. Just as I was saying it. Of course. And that'll be no icing, wrong penalty. Picked up by Swalve. And Dort's going to put together a rush here. That's Espenson skating it up across the blue line into the deep into Mavericks territory. Tries to go. Picked up by the. Oh, we got a shot on goal and it's saved. We got some discussions after the save there. got a slashing call against the defenders. That's on Noah Wilmes. He'll be in the box for another two minutes. And that will send the face off down to the defender end. So we'll be four on four for one minute and 19 seconds here. And then the Mavericks will have the advantage for about 40 seconds. And Dort wins the draw. And four on four, so we got some ice out here. We got a one on one. Center player skates it in. And can he keep it in the zone? No. We're going to have a breakaway here for the Mavericks. 
We got a oh. three on one here. Pass across, and sent wide right wide. of the goal. Big hit. And now defenders have defenders. a two on one break of their own. See what they can do here. Pass across. Shot. It's a goal. Wasn't sure, was that number 17 O'Brien th there? I think it was assisted by 17. I'm not sure who got the goal. Right. 17, Colin O'Brien or number five, Eli Vischer. I'm not sure which one had the goal. They both were on the breakaway. Nonetheless, they'll both get a point out of it. Yeah. And Darko's up two to one. That's the main thing there. So now the Mavericks will be on the penalty right now. It'll be five on four. If they uh, or put another guy out. I was going to say, are they going to put this guy back on the ice? or They should be having a five on four right now. I don't know. I guess not. I, I guess, guess not. it'll still be four on four for another 46 seconds. <laughs> Mavericks are coming back. They're we making a line change there, so they'll have to get in quick. And the glove save from your goalie. Stevens. Well done by Stevens there. Dort absolutely killing it in the shots on goal department, though. 24 to 5 right now. Just putting on an offensive clinic right now. No kidding. We definitely had the puck down there in the Mavericks end for the majority of the game. And here. Oh, good play. Well done to get it cleared out of the zone. Mavericks control at their own blue line. Try and put something together here. And the pass up to center and over the defender's line, blue line and it's poked away. Well done oh, by Espenson and there. Oh. And it's going to be icing. Yeah. Yeah, Espenson would have been on a great break there if he yeah. would have yeah. got control of the puck, but couldn't get anything on that one. I'm not sure what's I going on here now. I think what would happen was the refs made a mistake on that icing call. Oh, okay. That's, what I, what, that's my guess anyway. Yep. <laughs> quick shot there. Covered up by the goalie. Ryland Brew with a quick shot. Saved by the keeper. Smothered and we'll get another face off. win the draw and take it back behind their own goal line to regroup. And skated in but taken below the defender goal line. Squirts out to the D-man and defenders pick it up and Ooh. send it down the ice. Too bad he didn't get a hold on that one. They would have had an easy break yep. with the guy coming out of the box just in time. It would have been a three on two but he'll just send that one up. Oh, good shot block, and oh, knocked off his feet there. Well controlled by the defenders. Defenders push it up. Looking for the pass across. Controlled there by Espenson. See what he can do now. Smaller by def the defenseman. Puck squirts out. Espenson swivels. Quick shot right over the crossbar. Wow, bar. what a shot by Enz. Espenson there, though. Quick turnaround. Sent it high, just high and right of the top right corner. Oh. Defender tried to move it in, but 
Mavericks pick it up. Oh, big hit. Down low. And the Mavericks regroup. Send it right back to the defender, D. And now the Mavericks will control in their own zone and make their way up. Get it into the Dort defender defensive zone. Kept in at the blue line. Mavericks still have it in their offensive zone. Big hit there by the Mavericks. Knocked him right off his feet in the and now taken away by the defenders. Finally get it out to middle ice, so defenders can make a couple changes here. Mavericks come right back into the zone, though. Oh, big hit by the defender D-man. Sends him into the boards. Another huge hit there for the defenders. Crowd really enjoying all these big hits right now. Good little move there. And this is number two, Alex Espenson, moving the puck in. Across the blue line, and he lost it. Picked up by the Mavericks. And Here comes Jacob Petrie across the blue line. Into the zone. Oh, on goal. And it's covered up by the goalie before. I think he was trying to get that pass across to number 12, Noel Wims there, but just sent it too far out in front. And keeper had an easy pick up there. Yeah. Well done to make a few moves around a couple defenders there by Jacob Petrie. Draw controlled by Mavericks, but sent right back to the defender, D. Oh! Got a bit of a break here for Mavericks. But it pressured good skate by number seven, Bryce Suave. Oh, Bad center. pass there by the defenders. Buck quickly taken right back. Eli Vischer moves it in yeah. the zone, and he's offside. No, Wilms just couldn't get a skate back on sides there in time. And we'll get a face off in middle ice here. Defenders control here in middle ice. Aspen tries a move, gets stopped. Oh, the puck is, oh, and it just squirts out. Maverick's got a one-on-one -on -one break here. He moves, makes a move into the center of his ice, and it's knocked away by the goalie into the corner. Final minute here of the first period. And the puck is in the egg, so we'll have a face off in the defender zone. Face off one by the Mavericks. Quick shot, but goal glove saved there by Stevens. Mavericks win the face off again. Quickly taken away by the defenders. Colin O'Brien sent into the boards by the Maverick defender. Oh, but another big hit. Mavericks take it out across the fender line, blue line. So. Shot goes wide of the net. Oh, 
Now defenders could be on a break here. They got a two on one. Two, on one. two seconds left. Has to get it off quick. And there's no goal. Didn't quite get it in there fast enough. So defenders lead it after the first period, two to one. Defenders leading with 27 shots on goal to the Mavericks eight. We'll be back after a brief intermission. We are the students of the Dort Media Network. Thanks for watching this live stream broadcast. Today's Dort Media Network live stream broadcast is produced by the students of Dort University and brought to you by Wireless World, your local Verizon authorized retailer with seven locations in Northwest Iowa. Visit us at wirelessworld.com and sponsored by Sioux Center Health Therapy, partnering with Dort University to provide quality care to all athletes, Sioux Center Health Therapy. And today's live stream broadcast brought to you by Verhoof Automotive. Verhoof Automotive in Sioux Center is your local Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, Ram, Chevrolet, and Buick dealer. Verhoof Automotive, worth the drive from anywhere. And brought to you by Joiner and Sport Dentistry in Orange City offering dentures, implants, and dental care for your whole family in a modern and friendly atmosphere. And brought to you by Pizza Ranch, buffet, carry out, or delivery. I'm Drew Brigdenhill from Sioux Center, Iowa, and you're watching the Dort Media Network. Hi, I'm Kyle Espenson, I'm from Wyndham, Minnesota, and you're watching the Dort Media Network. When you add up all the Wi-Fi connected devices in your home these days, you'll be surprised at how many there are and how much bandwidth they're using. Do the math. It just may add up to needing faster Wi-Fi. Premier Communications has you covered with reliable internet speeds up to one gig. Keep everything connected with Premier Communications. Visit us online at mypremieronline.com or call at 1-800-741-8351. Premier Communications. Looking ahead. My name's Eli Vischer from Guelph, Ontario, and you're watching the Dort Media Network. Today's live stream broadcast is brought to you by American State Bank, proud supporter of Defender Athletics. American State Bank, member FDIC. Special thanks to the following Dort Media Network live stream broadcast sponsors. Vision Realty. Whether you're looking to buy or want to sell, we would love to hear from you. Vision Realty. And brought to you by Furniture Mart. Find furniture, mattresses, flooring, paint, window treatments at your local Furniture Mart, family owned and located downtown Sioux Center. And today's broadcast sponsored by Ploim Publishing. Quality printing from design to delivery. And sponsored by Orange City Area Health System offering safe, skilled, and essential services for every season of life, from fertility and birth care to family medicine, surgical services, and senior care. A lifetime of care starts at Orange City Area Health System. Hi, I'm Tyler Morgan, head men's hockey coach at Dort University. Our hockey program is built on four main principles, faith, family, integrity, and honesty. More importantly, we strive to live out these principles through living out the Defender Way. The Defender Way is based on Romans 12.1 and focuses on four main points. We are committed to the Great Commission. We are committed to equipping student athletes to be servant leaders. We are committed to the academic development of all student athletes. We are committed to the pursuit of championships. If you want to be challenged in your growth both on and off the ice, if you want to play in front of a full house at the Vernon Arena, and if you want to feel the support of your school and community, you will find that here. 
There is something to recognize about Dort University. We are honest and upfront about our desire to serve the Lord in all that we do, and we mean that. If that challenge sounds like something you want to take on, please schedule a visit to check out our campus soon. On the left hand, she takes the high snap, keeps it himself left side, and scampers into the end zone for a Warrior touchdown. Sioux County Radio and the Dort Media Network are excited to announce that every Sioux Center home football game will be brought to you over Dort Media Network's multiple camera system. Drops back to pass, play action, looks left, now looks deep down the right side, looking for the end zone, and Brett Scouten makes the catch and jogs into the end zone for a Warrior touchdown. Hello fans of Defender Sports, hope you're enjoying the game whether you're a friend or family member of a player or a coach or a fan of the university. These players and coaches have put in hours and hours of practice and it shows. But going into each and every game there's one more thing that every coach makes sure the team has and that's a game plan. If these players and coaches are willing to put this much time into planning for a game, how much more important is putting together a game plan for your financial life? Now the financial world continually becomes more complicated, but if you don't have either the time or the desire to spend hours upon hours learning and keeping up with the changing rules of the game in the financial world, and then figuring out how that applies specifically to your financial life, 
You don't have to do it alone. For over 40 years, we've been helping households to build their financial game plan upon all the things more important than finances, while being good stewards of the resources God has entrusted to their care. Because there's things in life more important than money, and none of them are things. I'm Tom DeYoung, financial planner and president of Money Concepts, the planning firm. Check us out on the web or social media. Check out our podcast at moneyconceptsradio.com or your favorite podcast app. Or schedule a complimentary meeting to see how a financial game plan might benefit you. Enjoy the rest of the game and remember to spend your most valuable resources, your time and your attention, on the things in life that matter more than money. Today's Dort Media Network live stream broadcast is produced by the students of Dort University and sponsored by Sioux Center Health Therapy, partnering with Dort University. Provide quality care to all athletes. Sioux Center Health Therapy. And brought to you by Wireless World, your local Verizon authorized retailer with seven locations in Northwest Iowa. Visit us at wirelessworld.com. And also sponsored by Cruise and Cruise PC, public certified accountants at 722 3375, with offices in Sioux Center and Lamar's, helping you attain your financial goals. It's their commitment. Today's broadcast is sponsored by Northside Body Shop. When you expect the very best in the repair of your vehicle, call Northside Body Shop Limited today. Serving the Sioux Center area since 1955. 712-722-2313. Thanks for watching this Dort Media Network Defender Athletics live stream broadcast produced by the students of Dort University.
And we're back in action for the start of the second period. Defenders in absolute control of this game right now. Leading two to one. Destroying it in shots on goal right now. Mavericks control this one. Buck squirts out to middle ice. Controlled here by Espenson. Oh, shot just ripped wide. Popped all the way out to the blue line. Kept in by the, the, the D man. Defenders control behind the goal. They'll look to send this one to middle. Espenson moves to the middle. The puck is deflected over the net. Another shot just ripped. Defenders came out strong. And it's sent down the ice by the Mavericks. That'll be an icing. Espenson having a big impact on this game so far with a goal and a lot more shots to tally on that. And the Mavericks will control this face off. Defenders will intercept, keep it in the zone. The D-man pitches up and he gets beat. Oh, big hit though by the defender forward. Turns the puck wreck around. And they're back in the zone. Shot deflected off the goalie stick into the netting. This will be Vischer taking the draw for the defenders. And he wins it back to the D-man. Sends it on oh, another pinch from the short. D-man keeps the puck in this time. Puck squirts out of the slot and it's deflected out to the side. No icing. It's waved off. And the puck picked up and skated over the blue line. He's got a man open. Shot on goal, and it's in. Top corner. It's a snipe. And that'll be number 12, Noah Wounds with the goal. Defenders had a good breakaway, two on one. First defender skates in and passes the layoff pass to Wims. Wims sends it, puts it top left corner. Well done by him. Put the defenders up three to one. 18 minutes left to play in the second period. Very nice goal. Don't get a skate on that one. Stick on that one, I should say. Mavericks will control in their defense path. And the defenders. Oh. Tried to get that one to the middle. Intercepted there by the Mavericks. They'll look to make their way up. He just flips it into the zone and it's picked up by the defender, D-man. And pass it out. Up to center and back to the Mavericks, D, at center ice. Puck is into the Mavericks bench there. Couldn't keep that one in the zone, so we'll have a face-off here. Face-off just outside the zone at the uh, offside dot. We'll say if Mavericks are in control of anything right now, they're winning a lot of the face-offs right now. There's another one. Seems to be their one big strength right now. And we'll get an offsides call here on the defenders. Number 10, Jonah Weems could not stay on sides long enough. Mm -hmm. 
another win off the draw by the Mavericks. Oh, it's sent right back in, and he's offside again. Ooh, I thought he got his skate on side there, but ref probably has a better look at it than us, so yeah. I won't question his call there. Have another face off here in middle ice. Another win for the Mavericks. I think yeah. that's four or five in a row now that the Mavericks have won, so defenders will have to figure something out to start winning some of these faceoffs. Oh, nice little move there by number 10, Jonah Weems, to get to the net. And the shot is deflected wide by the goalie. Oh, solid hit. Puck squirts up to center ice, though, and it's the Mavericks. Shot deflected, and it's in the net. That will be a goal for number 89, Logan Mercier. Unassisted. Well done by Mercier to stay with that puck. Had his first shot miss, but got the rebound and put it in. So the Mavericks bring it to within one now with 16 minutes left to play here in the second period. Dort now defends in their defensive zone. They'll try to get it up. And, and the they will finally. Two on one opportunity here for the defenders. And the pass is just to play and ooh, that didn't look so good. Mavericks defender slams into his own goalie, knocking the net off. <laughs> the goalie is up though. Uh, that one probably hurt. <laughs> Looks to be doing fine here, so. We'll get a face off here in the Dort offensive zone. Quick shot there. Reflected wide. Can't keep that one on side, so they'll have to track back and regroup. Risky play there by the Dort forward. Puck ends up in the Mavericks end, and he flips it down the ice, and it's going to be icing. So we'll have another face off here in the Dort offensive zone. And Dort finally win a faceoff. And now they'll control it behind the net. Try to get it into the middle. Jonah Weems kind of whiffed on that one. Couldn't get a good shot. And the puck's picked up in the slot and skated up to center. And passed right back to the Dort defenseman. Who was skating all the way up, slapped that on net, and it's wide. Puck is sent down back around the net. Into the middle. Good shot on goal. Good save there. Another shot on goal saved by the goalie. <laughs> and now the defenders control it in their own defensive zone. The fans want a call there, and they're going to get there, it. They will get it there. They will get a tripping call here on the Mavericks. So Dort will be on their third power play now. Mm. That'll be number 71, Max Sikora going to the box for tripping. Two minutes. Defenders fan making the Maverick know that what he did was not okay on that one.
Another face-off win here by the defenders. Picked up at the top of the dot, pass back to the blue line. Shot just wide. Puck is loose behind the net, and it's passed out. Defender control it, pass down. Tip right into the goalie. O'Brien looked to get a fancy shot on goal there, but hit right at the goalie, so easy save there. Oh, but flipped all the way out to center, and it's going to go. Ice is going to be waved off there. No icings will be called on a penalty. Great save there by the goalie. Oh, well. Well done. The Maverick only had one person to beat and could not do so, so. And here come the defenders. Passes out to center, over, takes it in past the blue line and rips a shot wide. Ooh, the keeper about had a dangerous there. And puck squirts out. Rebound all the way back to the door blue line. Visser could not keep that one in. Now the defenders have it behind the net. They'll skate it around. Take it almost out to the blue line. Finally pass to the blue line. Espenson wants it. He gets it. Espenson. And it's... Oh, what a goal! Roofs it. Sends that top header. That is his second goal of the night. So Espenson making his force no known today. That was an absolutely ripped a shot from the dot. Banging his stick on the ice quite a bit before that, wanting the puck and finally got it and he made sure that he put it in the back. So well done by Espenson there. So the defenders will lead now four to two with 13 minutes left to play in the second period. Under control, send it down. The battle along the boards there. Puck is all tied up. Stays on side. And I don't know how that one stayed on sides. There was about six people along the boards right there, but Mavericks finally get it out to the middle. Mavericks captain controls. And back to the D-man, slap on net. Almost deflected and in, but sent wide of the goal. And puck squirts out. Mavericks can keep that one on sides there. So now defenders will control. Tried to get it all the way up, but intercepted by the Mavericks. So they'll control it in their back half now. They'll try and regroup. Send it up to center. And we got two on two here. Mavericks with some room. The shot is high. That was way over the net. Another there big hit there for the defenders. The corner. Great and battle along the boards there. Return the favor there. And now defenders control in their offensive zone. Look to try get it to the middle. Two defenders whiffed on that one there in the middle. Long shot. Sent wide. Well wide. Net. That one's sent over top of the goal there. Defenders still control. And shot on yeah. Oh, big save. Big shoulder save. And a lot of net to shoot at there. Not going to lie, I thought O'Brien had that one there, but keeper came just in time. I think that came off his shoulder yeah. there, so. Well done by Wernley. Puck is back into the Maverick zone, controlled by their demon. They Defenders get a change off. And the Mavericks will regroup behind their net. Defenders bringing the pressure though. It's now controlled by Espenson. There's a puck in the middle of the ice. And it's behind the net again. Rips around to the dot and there's a shot. It's blocked by a defenseman. Newman, Dort Newman picks, pinches again, keeps the puck in. 
defense. Oh, he's wide open in front of that. Oh, right off the net. Could not get it to him in time. That pass was just misplaced. Dort applying a little bit of pressure there. And it's all the way back to center ice. Captain Price sends it in. Picked up by Espenson down low. Picks it through the legs of a defender. Doesn't pick it back up again, though. And the puck squirts loose, and Dort will regroup at their own blue line. Oh. And we'll get a penalty or icing. Icing or a penalty? I'm not sure. Oh, we got a interference call. Yeah, we got a penalty here. So Dort yeah. will now go on their fourth penalty of the night. Not sure if that was for the hit in the middle there, but. Yeah, it's Got a trainer on the Dort bench. Looks like uh, forward Jonah Weems is uh, experiencing some pain after that hit. Is that Weems or Swalve? Not sure if it's 17 or 7. It's hard to say from here. 17's <laughs> on the ice, so I think it's uh, Bryce Swalve there getting looked at by the trainers. So hopefully he's okay. Quick shot, hits the side netting. Keeper will cover up on that one. You know, keeper for the Mavericks Wernley right now looking at the scoreboard that shows four goals. Doesn't look too nice, but then when you look on the shots on goal yeah. for the defenders and you see 38, you're like, I mean, ah, you got yeah. to give it to the defenders right now. So They're bringing the pressure tonight. Making their offensive force known right now. Wide open at the top of the dot. The shot low off the pad. Brew controls, sends it over to Vischer. Across and oh, a mistake. And it's out to center. Came in, couldn't control on that one. Defenders will still control that middle ice. They'll look to send the puck in. Rattles roll along the boards. Controlled now by the defenders at the blue line. Shot on goal is swallowed up. It's been quite a while since it's been on the Dort defensive half, though. Yeah. yeah. Defenders making sure that it stays in their offensive zone. So They're really controlling this game, and that's uh, shots on goal 40 to 11. That's uh, pretty impressive for the defenders. Yeah, it is. With eight minutes left of the second period, so, yeah. you know, if we're in the third period, you'd be like, okay, that's still a lot of shots on goal, but now that we're in the second period, no it's kidding. like, oh, wow. <laughs> Mavericks get it out to center. And across the door, blue line. You know, drives it on net and can't quite get there. And he trips at the... Oh, Mavericks player wide open in front. But the door defender keeps the puck away. Swalve must be okay. Just got looked at by the trainers a couple minutes ago, but now he's back on ice and showing his defensive prowess there. Mavericks had a wide open guy in the front of the net, but nothing to it. Try to get it quick out to the middle there. And that'll be sent all the way down the ice. Goalie comes out. Oh, oh, oh. Goalie's lost a stick. And a shot on goal, and it's a goal for the Mavericks. Tender came out to play the puck and lost a stick. Couldn't recover in time. that number 89, Logan Mercier again? That's another one for Mercier. So that's his second goal of the night. Yeah, defend goalkeeper just didn't come out in time on that one. 
risky play and didn't pay off that time. Still five on four. Eight more seconds. Yeah, that was a shorthanded goal for yeah. the Mavericks there. Tried to get the shot on net, but just went over top of the goal. Controls oh. it yet. Oh, wide yeah. open. Wide open net and just wide. Keeper had made the save and it rebounded out and didn't have. Clock moves back to center. We are back to five on five. So now the Mavericks control, get it in. Controlled there by the keeper. We'll get it out to his defender. And they'll look to send it up the ice. Mavericks regroup at center. Move in. Shot, a little flip shot from the ring at line. Tapped in by the Mavericks, shot on goal, deflected by the defenders. Puck is back to the D-man, big shot block. Uh, number 19, and we got a one-on-one, -on -one, three on one. What's he gonna do, Espenson with the shot, rebound into the corner. Nice pass though, up to center, and is controlled by the Mavericks and sent all the way down. That's gonna be icing. Thought big things were gonna happen there with Espenson on the breakaway. He had two going to the back post, but decided to keep it for himself and take the shot. Great save by the keeper. have a face off in center ice here or down in the defender zone I'm not sure what's defenders got a penalty there so they will be down a man now interesting I'm not sure what happened there that is on number 20 Freddie Bullock so now the defenders will look for a penalty kill here Ripped off the boards and all the way down. Maverick Tender will come up to play it. Leave it for his D-man to pick up. Maverick sent it up to center. Hard pass. Takes it across the blue line. Oh, and it's knocked away and out. Mavericks now control in their defensive zone. Look to play it up quick. They get it over the blue line. Controlled in the corner by the Mavericks. Quick shot there, pad saved by the keeper. Downs out of the zone. Went off the referee there. And out of the zone again. Well done by the defender, power play kill. Oh. Got a little cross check at center ice there. And oh. a breakaway here for the defenders. Got a one-on-one. -on -one. That's Eli Vish. Oh, just off the blocker. Okay. Tip of the blocker. Good save. Wilms could not get the rebound on that one. It was right in front of the goal for him, but could not find the back netting there. Defenders will look to play that one in. Oh, it's and taken away by Vish. And he rips it high and wide again. Mavericks regroup all the way across the defender blue line. And that one's broken up. Oh, love the pass there. Picked off by the... Broke a stick there too. Broken stick. No Wilms will go back to the bench, get a new stick there. And the defenders will get a power play kill there. So well done by the defenders. 
Defenders two for two on the penalty kill tonight. Referee picks up the broken stick there. Well done by him. Class into the slot. There's nobody there. It's picked up by Maverick taking it across center. Over the defender blue line. Shot on goal. Big fat rebound there. Knocked away by the Dort defenders. And picked up. Oh, left the puck behind. Big hit in middle ice there. The wow. Fans don't like that one. Absolutely crushed in middle ice there. <laughs> that was very late. Lost the puck and tried to get it in. I don't know if the Maverick just didn't see him or not, but went barreling right into him. And sent to the boards by the defenders. Controlled at the blue line. Tried to get it across. Again, tried to get it to the middle. Nobody home, though. Controlled by DeYoung. He'll get it over. Tried to get it along the boards. Quick shot to the middle. Nobody home to send that one in. Defenders control in the corner. The puck squirts out to the slot, and Mavericks take it out to center. Pass intercepted by Martin. And the puck is moved back up. Oh, Young, bad pass back to his defenseman. That'll be icing. Another face-off win there by the Mavericks. Inter interception for the Dort defenders. They'll keep it in the zone. Battle along the boards in the corner. And we'll have a hand pass call. So that'll move the uh, on against the defenders. That'll move the face-off outside of the zone. Face off here in middle ice, won by the Mavericks. Oh, Controlled Fisher. by the defenders now. Tried to get it into the middle, but nobody home to collect that one. We got a two on one developing here. Pass across, just missed by the Maverick forward. Oh, the puck's right up front. Cleared away by the center. Battle along the boards. Finally sent out Finally to middle ice. Out. And Ooh, it's off called sides. offside. Oh boy. That was a close one there. Two minutes left here in the second period. Mavericks starting to show a little bit of life right now. No kidding. I don't think Dort's had many shot attempts recently, but Mavericks starting to amount a few of their own. So. Well done by the Mavericks to start making this more of an interesting game, I would say. Uh. What do we got going on here? Refs are talking to the booth right now. Not sure what they're discussing. I'll go and talk to the coaches. And here we go. Play the Mavericks send the puck down into the door and 
Coley flips that aside. Controlled in the corner by the defenders. Askinson flips it, hits the roof. And that'll be a face off in the defender's zone, I believe. Real short ceiling here in Sioux Center. We'll have another face off here in the defender zone. Won by the Mavericks. Oh, big hit there by Espenson. But the Mavericks come up with it. Get a nice shot on goal. Good stick save there. And the puck is controlled by the defenders. They get it out of the zone. Two on one here, Chance. Pass back. Shot. Oh, big rebound. Controlled by the Mavericks defense defenseman. Puck picked up again by the defenders. Slide it in front, and the pass will not connect. Weems getting a few good chances there. Just hitting them right at the goalie, though. Got Puck will be sent along the boards. 50 seconds left in the period. That along the boards. Finally hit to Works the middle. Out. Mavericks screwing up the middle. Over the blue line. Shot on goal. It's a goal. That'll be a hat trick for Logan Mercier. Mercier with the hat trick on the night with 37 seconds left in the second period. That went off the uh, stick of Stevens and straight into the top corner. Unassisted. So we'll have to see how the defenders respond to this. Battle along the boards. Finally hit out to the middle, controlled by the Mavericks. Finally hit along the boards. Mavericks go pick that one up. Puck finally squirts loose. It's front of, loose in front of the net. Who's going to come up with it? And there's some. That's the end of the second period, but. Got some chippiness after the whistle there. A lot of players going at it after final horn for the second period went off. It looks like we won't have any penalties. Refs got in there just in time to break anything up before it could start. And we got a tie, tie game here at the end of the second period. We'll be back after a brief intermission. Today's Dort Media Network live stream broadcast is produced by the students of Dort University. And brought to you by Pizza Ranch, buffet, carry out, or delivery. And by Vision Realty. Whether you're looking to buy or want to sell, we would love to hear from you. Vision Realty. And brought to you by Joiner and Zwart Dentistry in Orange City, offering dentures, implants, and dental care for your whole family in a modern and friendly atmosphere. This Dort Media Network student-produced live stream broadcast is brought to you by Orange City Area Health System and its sports medicine clinic. From serious athletes to weekend warriors, from youth sports to adult fitness fans, trust their team of doctors, orthopedists, and therapists to get you back in the game. And sponsored by Wireless World, your local Verizon authorized retailer with seven locations in Northwest Iowa, Visit us at wirelessworld.com. 
Today's live stream broadcast is brought to you by American State Bank, proud supporter of Defender Athletics. American State Bank, member FDIC. Here comes Dort coming back the other way and with the three-point basket. And the Dort defenders opening up. Here at Dort, we administer a uniquely Christian athletic program via the Defender Way. The Defender Way is our holistic, intentional approach to Christian athletics. Centered around Romans 12, verse 1, where we acknowledge that our play is how we worship, the Defender Way focuses on four key target areas. One, we are committed to the Great Commission. We are committed to developing student leaders. We are committed to developing the academic potential in each of our student athletes and we are committed to the pursuit of championships. We believe the Defender Way empowers our student athletes to view and access athletics differently. But athletics is a way for them to experience and come to understand what it means to lead, what it means to serve. And uh, those kind of practical experiences have obviously broad application through all of life. And so I, I think athletics is an incredible tool that can be used to shape people in a way that um, is God honoring. There is an exceptional relationship between the coaching staff at Dort University and the faculty. That stems from the mutual understanding that all parties, all entities want to see students succeed at Dort. It really pushes you uh, to make sure you're doing your best, make sure your grades are up. And especially in baseball, we had a really good GPA and I think um, a lot of that has to do with Coach Bacon and the, the Defender way throughout Dort, pushing us each and every day. I think being on the dance team has actually made me a better student and it's pushed me um, just to do well and to push in everything I have. This past year, Dor the Dort football program was number one in the nation with the highest GPA in the NAIA, so that was kind of really special to be a part of. You know, if you're coming to Dort to play sports, you better be on top of your grades too because that matters just as much, if not more. Well, all the professors and the coaches are awesome here at Dort with that, um, juggling a sport and Academics has definitely been an adjustment, but I think that um, just remembering why you're here first, you're here to get your education. I would say one of the biggest areas of growth we've seen in Levi is the development of his leadership skills. And we've seen a very intentional process of teaching and modeling what it means to be a leader in the, in the program, mm -hmm. in the football program. Coaches and administration have created, purposely tried to create ways and opportunities for kids to step up and lead within each of those teams, both from the standpoint of leading on the field, whether it's a captaincy or that kind of perspective, but also leading off the field. I think the, the growth that we've had from a student leadership standpoint and a servant leadership standpoint has been, been, been pretty high. Really making connections with their faith and, and their athletic, um, their, their, even their student activities that they do. Our football team, we have so much common ground, right? We, we're all striving for the same goals. And in this locker room, on this team, we all serve the same God. We want our student athletes to be able to tangibly see their growth. 
on a spiritual level in our walk with the Lord. In the Defender way is that our culture is in desperate need of hearing a Christian perspective on competition. He's been responsible for the nurturing and the care of people under him, and um, he's initiated Bible studies now that I would never have guessed that he would have done that when his, in high school, but he's initiated those with his unity group. You know, this is a place where you can really grow in your faith, no matter where you are spiritually. And at the same time, you know, they're not only helping you to grow in your faith and build relationships, but they're also helping you to be, you know, a competitive athlete. I think the most important thing for me is the faith aspect here at Door. I think, I mean, I see it in athletics, I see it in academics, I see it um, with the community, and I think it's just a special thing to be a part of. I mean, everywhere you go, you can have a conversation about your faith. I can't imagine being on a team um, that didn't live the way that the Defender Way calls us out to live. The Defender Way has given me just a new perspective. It kind of gives you like a, a beginning and an end, right? So there's like, God is there in the beginning and God is there in the end. And so no matter what happens on the dance floor, um, He will always love you and He'll always be there and He'll always be the same. For me, I'm thankful to be a part of a, of a institution and an athletic department um, where we are striving to do athletics differently. And we're trying to, to, to um, use athletics as a platform not only for student development, but also for kingdom impact. The Defender Way, uh, it gives all, all of our athletic programs here at Dort the opportunity to, to have a Christ-centered approach. Every person who watches a, a Dort athletic team compete would, would be in the stands and just say, wow, there's just something different about that team. The Defender Way is about um, just like doing athletics for more than just the sport in and of itself. It's um, acting in a Christianly manner, both before the sport, during the sport, after the sport. I would say that really the Defender Way is a call. It's a challenge to be our best. I think the Defender Way is important just to help equip us as athletes and people and as followers of Christ to go out into the world. It's really helped me to realize just how uh, you know, playing sports, striving for excellence in sports, and being a man of faith is so interconnected together. Yeah, and I've seen the Defender Way as uh, an extension of the mission of the organization. And I think what kids learn when they're in the Defender Way and indoor athletics is that something that's worth pursuing, that excellence that's worth pursuing, and being intentional about how we're going to lead and be intentional about honoring God, that's really hard. And as a parent, you know, that's what you want, right? You want your kids to experience things that are difficult. And that's, that's what's going to launch them into life. There's a genuine love for the kids that are part of this program. There's a genuine care on the part of the administration and coaches for the kids that participate in athletics at Dort. We want to win championships. Equally important, though, is um, a consistent, and persistent focus on we want to do it in a way that honors God and respects and loves both our teammates and the, those that we're competing against. You know, this program has really flipped the stereotype of Christian athletes being soft, you know, and that's really something that I've been able to see since I've been here, just how strong, how aggressive, how physical a Christian man can be while still honoring God and being, you know, proficient in your sport.
third period underway here in Sioux Center, Iowa. Score is tied at four right now. Mavericks won the opening faceoff in the third period. Oh, the penalty against Dort. Against Dort or the Mavericks? I think Mavericks, oh. actually. Or, no, it will be against Dort. That'll be, I think, a cross check in the back. He's going to get called uh, interference there against number four, Kyle Espenson. Sophomore forward. So the Mavericks will be on their third penalty of the night. We'll see what they can do with it here right away to start the third period. So good opportunity here for the Mavericks to untie this game. And the Dort will get it out to middle ice. So they'll get a chance to regroup here. Ooh, whiff oh. shot there. Oh, good pass. Oh, just missed it. That was Vischer. Just missed the pass to the slot. He breaks up the Maverick rush, and they'll have to regroup. Dort bringing the pressure on this penalty kill. Yeah. Being very aggressive right now. But then again, Maverick's not being very aggressive, so, you know, they kind of have the opportunity to be aggressive. Ooh, Ooh, dangerous deflection yeah, there, but sent there. wide of the goal. That'll be sent all the way down by O'Brien. He turns back in his own blue line, pass it off to center. Sent across, now sent in. Defenders get this one forward. Just about 30 seconds left in the penalty here. As a Mavericks captain can't take that pass, he's sending to his feet, and the defenders send it back behind the Maverick net. Battle along the board, kicked behind the net. So Mavericks will control now. 10 seconds left in the power play. Looks to be that defenders will be three for three on a penalty kill tonight. Oh, wow, that could have been dangerous. Goalkeeper was not watching, and... Puck took a weird bounce there. Yeah, hit the post, so now defenders oh, are defenders on a two-on-one -on -one breakaway here. Oh, he lost the puck. Left the puck at the blue line, but... Jonah Weems missed, whiffed on the shot there. And now they'll control it, it. Oh, nice little pass. Oh, into the feet, it's loose, and it's covered up by the Maverick goalie there. Very dangerous there There's for the Mavericks. Couple of plays there. Wow. Mavericks getting a lucky break there, so we'll have a faceoff here on the Dort offensive zone. Finally win by the defenders. Quick shot deflected, sent wide of the goal. Now good stick by Espenson there. Tried to get it out to the middle. Intercepted by a few sticks there. And now Espenson gets it to the middle quickly. Shot attempt saved by the goalkeeper. Puck squirted loose. Crowd does not like that. The refs blew that one dead. Yeah, ref blew it dead because he thought the keeper had a hold of it, but it ended up squirting out of the goalkeeper's glove, so... We'll Dort, have another face-off. Yeah, you know, we'll have another face-off. Unfortunate for the defenders. They probably don't want to have a face-off here, but they win it, so good job by the defenders. Quick pass. Tried to get it to the middle. Just kept in by Swalvey. Now Wilms controls it. He'll get it back to O'Brien. O'Brien of Vischer. Swalvey pinching very deep there. Keeps the puck in the offensive zone. For a third time there. Yeah. 
Now they'll get this one behind the net. Oh, oh. Fisher fun. with a great chance. Just, I don't know if he didn't see the puck there or not, but just squirted right by him. Oh, we got a one-on-one. -on -one. Fisher coming in with some steam. On goal, and he's bumped off by the Maverick defender. Mavericks move the puck up. Oh, and it's turned over at center ice. Might be assistant Captain Weems. Have to wait for everybody to get back on sides, and they do. They'll enter the zone. Gets it out to the middle, but nobody is there. Oh, puck squirts out, and we got a little breakaway. Oh, it's been moved. It's a weird... Not the guy oh. you want on a breakaway there. Well, that was number not. 89, Mercier. <laughs> so glad that nothing dangerous came out of that one. Now this will go back behind the net. Short's got He's a player got out. Espenson trying to make his way to the middle. Now he'll get the Espenson puck. all tied up there on the boards. They're going to want to... Mavericks move the... Puck out to center and across the defender blue line. Sent wide of the net there. Deflected off the Mavericks and that'll go over top of the net. Controlled in the back by the defenders. Look to try to get this one forward and they do. It's out. Applying the pressure there. We got three or four guys on it there. Now Espenson will look to get the puck behind the net. Surveys what he's got. Gets it to the middle. the middle. Big Sam Young tries to get that on net. Doesn't quite get there. Puck stays in the Maverick zone here. Pass out to the slot. Shot lift. Went well wide. Defenders. Oh, we got a penalty. Elbowing. That'll be against Dort. Alex Espenson will get the penalty there. Fourth power play of the night for the Mavericks. And the faceoff move to the defender zone. One there by the defenders. They'll look to take it up the ice. Had a little bit of a breakaway, but they'll look to just get that one all the way up. Applying a little bit of pressure there. Very aggressive oh, right now. The defender has control below the Mavericks goal line. Puck is loose there. Mavericks will regroup. Try and put together a rush up ice. They're moving up the center over the defender's blue line. And Good stick there. Up. Good poke. And they'll send this one the length of the ice. Cool. Mavericks regroup. There's tons of pressure coming from the door forwards here. The Mavericks have not spent a lot of offensive zone time on this power play. Which is great to see for the defender penalty kill. As the defenders push it out to center, Mavericks regroup at their own blue line. Pass up the middle. He's got a man. Oh, poked away. Good, good stick there. Mavericks control below the Short goal line. Oh, great save there by Stevens. Great save, and they put it in off the. I think like it was off the goalie skate. I think it was off the goalie skate. Could not get back into position on time, and from behind the goal line. Yeah. And the Mavericks go up five to four. Looks to be number seventy-one, Max Sakura on that one, so Mavericks have their first lead of the night. Wow. 
So defenders will really have to respond now with 12 minutes left of the game. And this will be icing call. here. Yeah. There it is. So the defenders are going to face off in the offensive zone here and see if they can put something together. One there by the defenders. Quick shot. Oh. High and wide of the net. Oh, and the puck squirts out at the blue line. But defenders turn it right back around. Move into the zone. Got a little battle behind the net here, and it squirts out, and the defender has control. He's getting it up the boards and out of his own zone. Puts it up into the netting. So we'll have a face-off just outside the Maverick zone here. Maverick win that one. Now we got a battle along the boards. And they'll just send that one back into the defender's defensive zone. Defenders push the puck up. We got a two, uh, three on one developing. Two on one, see if we can get the pass off. Oh, it's smothered by the tender. Good save. Well done by the goalie on that one. A lot less shots this period for the defenders. Uh, yeah. I think they only have three or four so far. The Mavericks have really tightened up def defensively. Yeah, they have. So defenders will still be looking for that answer. Slap shot blocked and out to center. Defenders control. Turned over, but pushed up. Eli Vischer doesn't quite get the steal, and the Mavericks turn it around. Or it sends it back around deep into the Mavericks zone. Oh, going for the hit there. Oh, it's puck squirts out. Maverick's got a two on one. And it's broken up by uh, number 12, Wilms. Well done by Wilms to break up that two on one chance there for the Mavericks. Keeping this two a one goal lead. And just hit the ref there. Tried to make his way oh, through the traffic uh, there. Almost blows the tire there, passes it up. That's O'Brien. And that'll be a penalty there. O'Brien with the puck around the net. Dort has an opportunity here. And Mavericks touch it, so we'll get the penalty. It's a slew foot. So the defenders will go on their fifth power play of the night. They have scored in one power play so far. Face off here, one by the defenders. Quick shot there, good pad save by the keeper. Oh, good little drop pass there. Quick shot, and, the and sent out of the zone. Tenders coming up to play the puck, plays to the side. Oh, good dangerous. move there by Espenson. Let's see if Dork can regain control here in the Maverick zone, and Looked almost at it, but couldn't get there in time. And they do. Puck squirts out into the slot. Passes off to Espenson. See the shot here? 
Oh, oh, another good. Looks like we'll have another save. penalty. Ref has his arms up. This one's against Dort. No, I think we'll have no, a five. No. On, we'll have a five on three we'll here have now. A five on three interference. So now Dort with a great opportunity here to tie the game left. Nine minutes left in the third period. They'll have a five on three here, so really hope to pull one in the back of the net by yeah. now. So it's a great opportunity late in the game. Yeah, they'll have over a minute of five on three play here, so. Have a couple uh, unhappy fans right in front of us right now on that one, so making his opinion heard. A couple of hecklers in the building. Looks like they're gonna got a timeout. I'm not sure who took it, but. So yeah, very slow period here for the defenders. Hoping to now get a little bit of momentum and ride that to the end of the game. Yeah, this is a great opportunity to get a couple goals and get right back in here. So we finally get our way out of this timeout here. We'll see what Dor can do here with a minute seven seconds of a five on three. Draw. No clear winner of the draw. Puck squirts out to center ice. And it's controlled by the door. They skate it in. Try and slow things down a little bit. Don't need to rush this one. At the dot, pass across. And the shot. That's a beauty from Ryland Brew. Top left corner from the high slot. Big goal for the defenders. Absolute beauty. Look to be about 24 seconds into that five on three play. And now we have a tie game. Eight and a half minutes left to play and defenders will still be on a minute and a half power play. So we'll see if they can put another one in and get the lead in this game and ride that to the end of the game. Assisted by number 19, Dawson Kaming and number four, Kyle Espenson. Into the offensive zone now for the defenders. Gets it up high. Shot blocked by a defender. And it's picked out of the air by the Maverick goalie.
Dort Quick shot there. Ooh. Great pad save there by the keeper. Dort picks up the rebound. Gets it out of Vischer. Back to Vischer. Oh, the pass is broken up, and we got a foot race here. And the Mavericks forward is, oh, big hit there by Weems. Dort turns it around, three on two. The shot hits a stick and goes into the corner. And it's out back into the defender zone. 30 seconds left to go in this power play. Brew moves it up. Moves in on the goal. Tries to stuff it in. Good save there by the goalie. Tried to get and it in the, the middle, puck. but deflected out. Again, all the way down to the defender end. Looks to be about the end of this penalty here. Alex so. Asperson with some speed. Oh, he's got a goal! Slips it through. Well done, Alex Espenson. Puts the defenders up six to five with seven minutes left. Only four seconds left to go in the power play, so. Big goal for the defenders. Right under the glove. Looks to be all the momentum in Dort favor now. Put a lot of shots on goal in the past two minutes since they've been on the power play. So, good to see for the defenders. Crowd making their presence known right now. No kidding, I'm sure the guys out there can hear them. And we got a timeout. This time it's gonna be from the Maverick side. Very big swing of momentum there for the defenders. Yeah, they really turned this game around right there. So we'll have seven minutes to play in this game. Defenders with the 6-5 lead. Defenders with 54 shots on goal and the Mavericks with 23. So very big difference there. Defenders will play the Mavericks here tomorrow afternoon. I believe that game starts at one o'clock. Yep. So hope all of you can be back online to watch that one, or you can make it in person into the All Season Center here in Sioux Center, Iowa. And they're back out for the faceoff. The fans on their feet. Not a lot of action going on at Dort tomorrow. Normally there's quite a bit of games going on. Soccer normally has a doubleheader. Football normally has a game, but every team seems to be on their bye week. So just yeah. hockey pretty much tomorrow. Hope to see another packed house. Yeah, for sure. If we get a crowd like this every game, that'll get the defenders going every game. As the Mavericks finally control in their defensive zone, get it out to middle ice. And they'll finally oh. get it into the attacking zone. Battle in the corner. Real battle. We got four players down there tying each other up. And they yes. finally get this one into middle ice. Ooh, yeah. almost taken away there by Wilms. Would have had a wide open chance. Oh, and now Kaming takes this one away. He's had a great game. Oh, there's nobody there. Good pass, good thought. but Yeah, everybody... Uh, getting the line change, so nobody there for Kame Inc. But he stays on, the pressure. Well done Getting by Kame Inc. Now Espenson controls here, trying oh. to make his way through a couple defenders. Tries that little move, doesn't work. And the Mavericks will shoot on goal. Tender will leave that one for his D-man. That'll be sent down, rattling along the boards, and we'll get an icing call here. Oh. 
Face off here in the defensive zone for the defenders. One here by the defenders. Espenson taking oh. it up. Pass it up to Weems. Shot. Ooh, hard shot. Just wide. Camming with the shot. Right into the chest of goalie. And defenders will have another offensive zone faceoff as they send out their third line. Martin will take the draw. Oh. Defenders really picking up their uh, faceoff win percentage, yeah. though towards the end of the second period and the whole third period so far they've been winning just about I'd say 50% yeah. of faceoffs so really improved yeah start of the game it looked like the Mavericks were winning about say 80 to 90 percent but yeah now that percentage is really dropping good to see here the four of the defenders so we'll have a draw in middle ice another win for the defenders And that is O'Brien moving the puck up to center. Fisher with a shot on goal, and it is covered up. O'Brien had a couple whacks at it. Good move by Fisher. Just didn't have much of an angle on that one. And we'll get another offensive zone draw. Four and a half minutes left to play here in Sioux Center, Iowa. Defenders, again, another faceoff win. Covered by the keeper. Covered again. I'd say the defenders have had the advantage in faceoffs this period so far, so. Great improvement for the faceoff draw. Yeah. And again, another win. Yep. I think that's four or five now for the defenders. Eli Vischer pass up to the slot is missed and goes all the way down back to the door blue line where it's picked up by Colin Price. Left to go back and pick that one up. Price. Try to get it to the middle, intercepted there by two Mavericks, yep. and stolen there by O'Brien. Comes up with it, and Vischer carries it in. Oh. Good little glove save. Great shot on goal there for Vischer, but even better save there for the keeper. And Camming will get waved out, I think. We'll redo the face-off here. Somebody jumped. Defender face-off win. Oh, hard pass back to the D-man. He hardly handled that one. Keeps it in, though. And Espenson with the shot along the ice. Another save there for the keeper. Yeah. Defenders yeah. with 60 shots on yeah. goal. That is impressive. That is a lot of work for the keeper. And we'll get a tripping call here. That'll go against number 10. Very obvious call there. Yeah. Jonah Weems headed to the box. So we'll have three and a half minutes left to play here in the game. And the defenders will be short-handed short -handed for two of them. Face-off draw won by the defenders. Oh, Mavericks control. Tip shot. That was a very hard shot from... 21, Ryan. Sorry if I get this wrong. Up. It was a real rocket from the blue line. 
and just lined it up and slapped her in there. So You have a tie game with three and a half minutes left to play. Well, this is coming down to the wire here. Short wins the draw. And that Captain Price shoots it in and it's up off the netting. So that'll be a face off in the Maverick zone. The boys are lining up at the wrong dot here. There we go. Dort student section trying to intimidate the goalie for the Mavericks. Still swallow that one up. Not working so far. Nope. We have another face off. Lots of whistles this game. Picked up by Price, sent down behind the net. Battle along the boards. Well, Kicked out to the middle. Oh! There was an open net there. Nobody there to get it though. Good poke check there. Oh, oh no goal. That was cleared out by the door defenseman. Very close save there. Get a lot of back open net there, but kept out. They'll try to play this one up quick. That's icing. No, he's waving it off. The defender was too close, and we're moving it up. Here come the defenders. Right in front. Oh, hits the post. Off the crossbar. Got the puck tied up behind the net. It squirts loose to the right side. Way to keep that one in. It's Ryland Brew keeping the puck in for the defenders. And here's Martin who comes up with the puck. Oh, he had him. Just missed the pass. Yeah, he Good had thought. him wide open in the middle there. Just could not get Just enough on it. Look to try to clear it out, and they do. Dort will have to regroup on this one. Both teams get a change off. Oh, no icing there. Good touch by the Mavericks. Oh, puck in front of the Dort net. Cleared away. Oh, good block off the hand of the Kamek there. And here we go. Espenson with the puck. Oh, squirt big Kamek shot into the shin pads. Another shot. Oh, that one's high. You got absolutely lit up in the middle there. <laughs> we'll have one minute left to play here in the third period. Let's see if we're going to go into OT. Yep. Mavericks sending the puck up to center ice where it's picked up by... Oh. Oh. Great save there by the Good keeper. Save, yeah. Keeping this a tie game. Oh, puck squirts out to the Mavericks blue line. Picked up by number 89 who's got a hat trick already. Doesn't get a fourth there though. Dort sends the puck all the way down the ice and it's going to be an icing call. So we'll have a face off in the defender zone. 30 seconds left to play. Defenders need this face-off win here. They don't get it, but they intercept the pass, so. Oh, Mavericks keep it in the zone. 18 seconds left on the clock. And here we go. Number 10, Jonah Weems fires it in. And it's caught by the goalie, and he keeps it. Surprising choice. We'll have a face-off. Nine seconds left to play. In the Maverick end. Definitely will keep an eye on that clock. Dort's got to do something quick here. Let's see if they can win it back to their D-man, get a shot on goal. Oh, 
There's they win it. Oh, big shot blocked. Five seconds. Another shot. Oh, blocked by the hand there. Oh. There's a good chance at the end there. Wow, Colin O'Brien <laughs> could not get much of a touch on it. Very Sends close. it wide of the net, but that would have been counted if it would have gone in. Had just a couple seconds left to work with and couldn't get it done, so we'll be headed into overtime now.
So we'll have one period of three on three, five minutes long. And if the score remains tied after that, I believe they will call it a draw. So that's what I've been told at least. Fisher with the draw. And here we go, Mavericks take control. Pass off to the... Finally get it into their offensive zone. Oh, swept good away. Poke good check poke check there. Picked up again by the Mavericks. Oh, good block. Surprised that wasn't called for a hand pass there. But door can't clear. Oh. No penalty call on that uh, play there. Ooh, oh, bad, bad pass. pass. Into the slot. Good save. Great good. save there by Stevens. And we'll get a, a couple line changes for both teams. All right. Face off controlled by the defenders here. Gamming will move the puck up. Flip it to center, and it is not taken away. Espenson drives it. Picks it up, pass back to the blue line. Ryland Brew tries to keep it in, passes it off to the Mavericks player. Uh, we got a two on two developing, he slows it down. Long shot, another save. I don't know. Have a couple more line changes here. Both teams recycling each unit very quickly. Yeah, very short tips here. A lot of ice. Oh, good face-off block. Nice little short pass, perfectly placed. And there's Weems with the puck. Him and the goalie. Good save. Had another whack at it too yet. Almost had the rebound there, but keeper was very close. Cut off all very angle close. there. So just managed to seal off that five hole and. We'll have a face-off in the Maverick zone here. Draw one. Oh, poked away, and he blew a tire. Good news for the defenders on that play. Yeah, he would have been wide open and there the for a great chance, but just couldn't keep his skates. Oh, here we go. Mavericks trying to put together a rush. Martin picks the puck up, pass off to Weems, and he sends it deep into the zone, and Weems will go for a change. Big oh, hit there big in the hit. corner. But Mavericks end up with a puck. They'll take it down, get it into their offensive zone. Island Brew with the poked away that shot. And here we go. Kyle one on one here. Has one on his back post. Gets it to him. What a goal. The pass from Espenson over to Brew. Absolute stunner. Seals the game. Dort will take this one, seven to six. Crowd is electrified right now. Wow, what a game for the defenders. Espenson with a huge game. Great game, great pass at the end there. And Brew managed to slip that under the blocker, between the blocker and the pad. and. Defenders will start their season 1-0, taking the home opener. And the fans here love it. Absolutely just loud right now, making their presence known. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Defenders will take this one 7-6. Defenders with 67 shots on goal. Mavericks with 30. Tune in tomorrow. We'll, we'll see these two teams battle it out again, and I'm sure it'll be another good one. Yeah. So we'll be signing off for the Dort Media Network.